how to get started fletching with Molzy fletching glue. You're gonna need the glue, the primer pen, a jig, and either acetone or isopropyl alcohol, along with a rag. We decided to go with acetone for this particular build. As I clean the arrow shaft with acetone, I want to mention that the Molzy primer pen is optional, but will be required on certain veins like TAC, DCA, and AAE veins. We are using TAC veins today, so we're going to use a primer pen. Now we're going to install the black nozzle onto the bottle. We don't want to use any tools for installing this nozzle. However, we do want to make sure the nozzle is tight. Go ahead and screw it on there in the clockwise direction. As the nozzle begins to get tight, you may feel some clicking. Go ahead and screw past those clicks until the nozzle completely stops turning. Now we're just gonna test to make sure the bottle is flowing properly. Go ahead and use the back of your package, put a little dab of glue on there. And at this point, I'm just curing the glue just to make sure it doesn't get tipped over and make a mess on my bench. So it's completely dry, now it won't make a mess. Now we're gonna take our micro tips we recommend cutting just a little bit off the end to give you a little bit more flow of glue. Be careful when you do this. We recommend a snips or a scissor. We are using a knife in this particular video. When you put the micro tip on the bottle, make sure not to press it on too tight. Otherwise you will crack the tip. Now we are ready to load our first vein into the clamp. Go ahead and load your vein just as you would in the proper position. Pull out your Mold-Z primer pen, and we're just gonna make a couple passes up and down the base of that vein. More primer is not better, so be very conservative with the use of the primer pen. Once you get there, you're gonna put three to four dots of glue onto the vein. Go ahead and use the tip of the bottle to spread that glue out evenly across the base of the vein, making sure to cover every last bit of the vein with a small layer of glue. Now we are simply going to install the fletching onto the arrow. We're gonna apply some pretty decent pressure downward, especially with tack veins, you're gonna want some decent pressure. At this point, you can use the light in the jig to cure the glue. As soon as you use the light, you're able to then lift the jig. Now we are just going to repeat that process and apply the second vein. As we get to the third and final vein of this particular arrow build, we are going to do the same process, except we are gonna do it without the UV light. The entire fletching process remains the same, except for now we're gonna use a little bit more of a time dry rather than using the light. This can take anywhere from five to 10 seconds. With tack veins, we recommend eight to 10 seconds of pressure before you lift the jig. Once the 10 seconds is up, go ahead and lift the jig. Now you have two options. You can either let this air dry or you can come back after the fact and run the UV light over the veins. This just helps solidify the cure and speeds up the process. Again, the UV light is not required. As you can see here, within the couple minutes that this video took, these veins are completely solid on this arrow. They will continue to dry over the next 10 minutes but this arrow is ready to shoot without any concern that the veins are gonna fall off. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy Mold Z Fletching Glue.